today we are talking about the flutter filter chips uh, filter chips use tags or descriptive words to filter content uh, filter chips clear uh, delineate and display options in a compact area uh, uh, what do we mean here uh, if you have a ui that is so much complicated and you don't have that too much space filter chips are is good and they are always small and you can always use one widget row and fit all of them there they are good alternative to toggle buttons and all check boxes uh, today let's look at how to use filter chips to filter your content as you see i have three filter chips here one says this week another one says last week another one says last month so let's check it out here as you see here i've written simple code okay as you see i have a list view with a scroll physics shrink wrap to true and then the scroll direction horizontal so my first chip is this week stop this one then also for the chip to be selected you have to pass a boolean true so if it's false it will not be selected as you see here now this last month is the one that is selected so what i've done here i've made a i've initialized the string here and called it filter and initialized to an empty string so for the for one of my chips to be free, to be checked or to be selected it has to first fulfill this condition so it checks if the string of the filter string is equal to the string that is selected and sets the boolean to true hence by setting it to the selected making it the selected chip in the array so and also and also on the selected function whenever a person clicks on the chip we get a value which is always a boolean so if that boolean is true i've used on set state i save the state of the filter string this one here and i put it to the name of the filter which is this week so as you see here put it multiple uh, let's go to this one this one the three of them here not forgetting this is just a demo so i'm making them constants so as you see when the person clicks state changes you can also put something here uh, let's display the selected filter up here in the tube as you see the filter is here so when we click last week we keep getting the updated text last month we get another text so you can try out something here See, so it is a column. Then here we put the text. Okay. Okay. As you see, I've made a column inside the center widget, and that column I passed the text. Then expanded inside the expanded, then we pass in the expanded to pass our array of chips of filter chips. So I've got the text here to display the value of the selected text. So let's try it out here and see. As you see here, if you click last week, last month. Last week. That's my and also you can add on tag they can use the background and all that. Let's say set the selected selected car colors dot white right. 
set compared to something like this okay, right. so uh, every selected deselected uh, only the selected chip will always have this selected color as you see here right. when you select this color changes select that color changes okay guys thank you for watching please Please subscribe. See you in the next video.